Johnny Daniel, independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! How are you? It's Wednesday evening, 7 p.m. Yes, I switched back to the evening. Um, there might be a couple more shadows, but I wanted to have as many people be able to join me as possible. I know some people are still working if you're essential. And, well, we're essential tonight, right? So, how are you? <laughs> so, it's been a couple of weeks, hasn't it? So let me go over a couple of things that are happening. Yes, there's still things happening. Stampin' Up! is still shipping. They've had to split some shifts to get a little bit more distance between people packing boxes and that kind of thing. So they are splitting shifts. So it's taking a little bit longer. So what used to take between two to three days is now taking between three to five. So just add two to three days on to what you would normally ask me if it's here yet, and then we'll be good. Um, for instance, club went on the 18th, and it's supposed to come in tomorrow. So it's taking about a week and a half instead of about a week and a day. So like I said, it's delayed by about two, three, four days, depending on how I hit things and if it's right after a weekend and all kinds of things. So. Be a little bit patient, but it's still coming. Yay! <laughs> so, all right, so if you have not read emails, because some of you might be working, some of you are homeschooling now, have kids at home, God knows what else. Anyways, third release, like I thought it would happen, but I wasn't sure, is actually going on right now until the end of the month. And third release, if you did not get the email, please let me know because it's actually stuff from the annual catalog. So there's a couple things of paper, there's a couple things of stamps, and a couple other things. There's about eight to 10 things total that they've added on. So please feel free to go look. Um, if you are ordering before the 31st at noon, make sure to use the host code and when we put you down, you'll be able to see it. But it's for Iris and I'll read it real quick. K V C N. C, B, C, Q, and I'll repeat that when we put you down, but um, Iris is hosting. Who knew what was going to happen, but um, thank you for the ones that have ordered so far. Um, there are a couple orders, Iris, so don't despair yet. Um, let's see. Also, my free shipping deal is happening right now. If you order $50 or more, I will reimburse your shipping if you do online. And if you use the host code, you'll help Iris. If you forget to use the host code, please let me know. I can call and get it added afterwards as well. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? So you can still shop, you can still join. We can do a virtual thing, but honestly, everybody's kind of sitting tight right now. So I wouldn't suggest hosting unless you absolutely want to, great. Um, the bonuses are still happening for joining, so you will still get the 6x6 um, designer series paper sampler, which is about this thick, and you will still get the mini guillotine cutter, and you will still get a bonus set of your choice, all for $99, along with the $125 in product you will get for that. Oh, and by the way, you don't pay shipping, you only pay tax, so it's $108. Well, 109 in Yaka, 108 in 29 Palms. <laughs> so, um, if you want a good deal and you still have a wish list, let me know. Um, if not, and you're curious, let me know. If you just want to bug me and ask me questions about it, give me a call. I'm here. I just can't make contact with you. So we're mailing, we're doing absolutely everything we can to keep things going for you as well as for me, because I don't know about you, but if the glue runs out, you're kind of done, right? <laughs> so, um, also rewards program is changing. So if you did not get the email with your points, please let me know you have until the 31st to redeem your points, midnight of the 31st. So once your timestamps change to the first, we're done. So. Um, it needs to be done by the 31st for me to be able to order and get your reward point, rewards to you. 
Um, let's see, what else, what else? Rubber rummage. Do you have one of those yet? I hope so. Um, if you don't, um, and you still want to participate because you've been cleaning out stuff and it's anything crafty, by the way, that fits inside that box, doesn't have to be stamping up stuff, but, um, if you would like to participate and you have not already emailed me, I'd be happy to send you details and everything else. By the way, because the order goes until the 6th and I rescheduled it for the 3rd and 4th, guess what? We're rescheduling it again. And I will put this out officially, but it's kind of silly, right? So we will be doing the 17th and 18th. If you haven't noticed, I've already flipped to April. Because I don't know about you, but I want to get going on stuff. So, I've got some tentative stuff in April. We've got a new virtual class that's going to be debuting the 30th through the 4th here. Yay! Um, so that will be something, because it'll all come by mail, so that will be something that everybody can do. If you don't want to do it online, you still need to order it online, you're welcome to come on a Monday. But just like everybody else, follow the directions and I'll be here for questions. Uh, let's see, tentatively, very tentatively, we have card class the 7th, 9th, or 11th. Um, that's, of course, subject to change. And then another virtual class with an Earth Day theme on the 13th through 18th. And then hopefully... By the end of the month, we will be able to do a Mother's Day class, which translates to flowers and lacy and that kind of stuff. But if you don't have a mom or don't want to do Mother's Day, we can obviously convert it to happy birthday, sympathy, whatever you need. So that's what's happening. Let's see. What else? What else? Ah, I'll give you a sneak peek really quick. That is one of the projects for the virtual class next week. So, surprise, surprise. All right, so that will be coming out shortly. And, hmm, what else? It'll probably be coming out over the weekend or on Monday morning first thing since it's a Monday through Saturday thing. Bear with me as I work the kinks out of how we do oh, um, every other week class. So for you planners, because I'm one of those people, the first week and the third week generally are going to be the virtual online classes. The second week generally is going to be in-person card class kind of stuff. And then the fourth week is going to be some kind of themed event, whether it be a host whether it be a game night or whether it be some kind of holiday, like a stamp a stack um, for Christmas cards or, you know, Easter favors or whatever. Yes, I'm still stuck on Christmas. No, I haven't started yet for next year. I'm still digging out. So let me put you down. We'll get to creating our drips. <laughs> so you will need a piece of either a wax paper, silicone mat, or paper towel, something to absorb water. Okay, I know paper towels are in short supply right now, so that's why I said silicone mat, cutting board, um, but mind you, there might be ink. So, um, so there's that. And then after that, you will need a piece of white cardstock. Doesn't really matter the size because if you don't like the size after it dries, cut it up and make it a mosaic background. It's just the concept we're working on. You will also need a cup of water and a paintbrush or an aqua painter, depending on what you have, filled with water. Um, let's see, and then two or three ink colors, probably three. Um, much more than that, it gets a little bit muddy, but three ink colors of your choice. Um, have them be quite different. So I've got a blue, I've got a green, and I've got a pink or a red. So have them be different, don't have them be shades of because then there won't be enough difference to really see it, okay? So I'm gonna put you down and we're gonna get going on creating. And while I'm doing that and getting situated, get your supplies. Thank you. Hi Iris, hi Sean, how are you guys? Thanks for moving back with me to seven o'clock. I tried the noon 
was not happening. <laughs> so it was too busy even for me. All right, so I'm just moving and recentering and hopefully not getting a ton of ink on me, but <laughs> yeah, okay. I've already had to scour a few times. All right, am I centered? I think so. Okay. All righty. So let's get the computer situated now. So as you can probably see, can you see all of it? All right, so you can follow stampingwithjohnny.com. YouTube is Stamping with Johnny. Do you see a theme? And then you can order Johnny Daniel dot stampin up dot net host code is down below and i've already said it but h v c n c b c q and that's for iris so please if you can order and i will also if you place your order online which means i don't have to do it then guess what you will get your shipping reimbursed as well so, hi Lise, how are you, hon? Good to see you again. Now that I moved the time, we're back to it, aren't we? All right, so give me just two seconds, guys. I'm trying to get everything zoomed in and make sure everything's working. Okay, so let's move some things around. Go figure, huh? All right, so we're doing the drip technique tonight. This is something you can do with your kids or if you've been day drinking because we're all home or if you just have been stamping already all day and you need to not have something detailed, okay? So a couple different reasons. All right, so um, let me show you one card that I've already done with this. This is our drip technique. And if you'll notice here, the lace and the label here, as well as the stamp up here, this is all done with our new ornate garden that debuts on April 1st. No joke, by the way. So this is going to be something that's gonna be in the new annual catalog in June. And we're giving you a head start, okay? So, really pretty stuff. You're going to be seeing quite a bit with this. And the virtual class on March 30th, they debuts March 30th, will be around this whole suite. Okay? So that's one. Secondly, let me explain what's on my desk. I have already done one because these actually need to dry <laughs> overnight. You're welcome, Iris. Then. Um, actually have already a hundred dollars in order, so you are well on your way to getting some free stuff. We need about $49 more, I think it was. So, um, so we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're going to get there. Alrighty, so I've already done one, and the reason being is because they take a while to dry. So this is not something you want to do and then try to cut up right away. I forgot to turn that alarm off. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> ah, yay. And I got one at 7.30 as well. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so um, this is something you wanna dry overnight, so you don't wanna have to hurry it, okay? So just make sure that um, you have time. So this is something great that you can do on a table that you either don't care about or have a plastic cover on. Let the kids go to town, do a whole bunch of them. If you want to roll out a piece of butcher block, is it called butcher block? Anymore? Butcher paper. Sorry, not butcher block. If you want to roll out a piece of butcher paper, you can have them drop, drop, drop. Meanwhile, it spreads a little further on that, but that's something that you could use for wrapping paper later. So, or tissue paper kind of stuff in a gift bag or whatnot. So just trying to give you some ideas to keep the kids busy while you're trying to cook dinner or the what feels like the 15th meal of the day, okay? So, yes. All right, so I have this already done. We are gonna do one together, and then when it dries, I will post my projects and everything else, but in the meantime, 
I have one done so I so you can see something finished. All right, so all right, so this um, is using lovely lipstick, call me Clover and blueberry bushel. Now I don't know what you know about these colors, but these are the in colors that will be retiring come May. So if you like these colors, you're going to need to order them sooner than later because once they go on the retiring list, they're while supplies last. Do you hear this a lot? Sorry if you do, but that is the case. So if you like them, you need to get them and make sure to order a refill with them. Um, yes, mine will be going out, but there's no guarantee that you're going to get mine because I only have one set. And there's 300 of you guys. Not on the video, but yes. So make sure if you really want them to order them, not only that, but mine have kind of been abused a tiny bit with classes and whatnot. So to get to this, back to the drawing board. All right, so I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock, thick. And this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. I have not cut the eight and a half side, obviously. And then we have scored it at four and a quarter. Okay. So that's our card base. I have cut a piece of blueberry bushel cardstock at five and a quarter by four. This is the first mat. And then our piece of whisper white that was whisper white. <laughs> This is cut to five by three and three quarters, five by three and three quarters. And this is going to be our inner mat. I also have a scrap of Whisper White that I'm going to be stamping the sentiment on and then just punching out really quick. And then last but not least, I also have a piece of Whisper White to show you how to do the drip technique. So who's doing it with me? Anybody want to dare? Comment if you're doing it with me so I know how slow or how fast I need to go. Hurry, right, quick, quick, tell me. So, and while you're doing that, I am going to get my ink pads for lack of a better term. So what I've done here, while I'm waiting for you guys, um, well, what I've done here is I have gotten some clear blocks and I have stamped them into the ink pads. So this is Blueberry Bushel, this is Call Me Clover, and this is Lovely Lipstick. Now notice, obviously I've already used it with the other one, but okay. So I've got an aqua painter, it's full of water. Just that simple. Okay, now I'm gonna go off screen for a minute because these are pressure barrels, which means if you squeeze it, the water comes out or whatever's inside of it. So you wanna make sure to not uncap it over your project because you might have spray okay all right so i've got my aqua painter now okay so what i'm going to do and i don't know if you can see this or not so i'm hoping you can yeah you should be able to all right let me put it back so it's easier all right so i've got my aqua painter i'm going to squeeze a couple drops down here do you see that going and i'm going to work the ink just into the tip, and then I'm literally going to drip. If you want a bigger drop, do a couple. If you want lighter, wait till the ink runs out. If you want darker, dip back in. It's just that simple. Kind of cool, right? The harder you squeeze, the bigger drops, or the more drops you get at one time. So if you want to quit, just let your thumb off. Okay. Now I'm done with the blue, at least for the minute. So what I'm going to do is just grab here and squeeze a little and then wiggle, wiggle, wiggle until there's no blue left in my brush. Just that simple. All right. And I don't want to be going over. So now I'm going to grab a little bit of my green. Are you dripping with me? Anybody? So teachers, if you want to, please share this 
Um, this is something that parents can do with their kids. If they do not have an aqua painter, all you need is a cup with a paintbrush. If you don't have that, I guess you can use a finger, but I wouldn't recommend that. And then you just need ink. So if you don't have an ink pad, what you can do is get any water-based marker and color it across a piece of wax paper, a clear block, whatever, and you can dip in with a paintbrush and get things going. And you'd be able to dip, drip, not dip, sorry, drip just like I'm doing and you'd be able to create your own cards. So you can say thanks to the teachers for being wonderful teachers and that you miss them. And let's see what else. Um, that's going to be the theme for the virtual class actually. The online class is gratitude. Um, I think we have a lot of it and some time to actually get it done. Okay, now I'm going to go into my lovely lipstick. So um, I'm actually going to be packing a whole bunch of cards that you can create with a cute case and some other and a folder to be able to gift cards and yes, um, it's going to be at least eight cards with envelopes as well as the cute holder so it's gonna be quite a bit um, I don't have pricing done yet because it's gonna be the cost of the stamps the projects are gonna be a bonus and then you're just gonna pay shipping so shipping will probably be anywhere between six and ten dollars I just gotta figure out how much it weighs and then Call it a day so so you're gonna do this until it's full <laughs> we're done I don't know <laughs> I still have water to go so um, so yeah so we've got you know healthcare workers we've got people stuck in senior living homes that can't have visitors right now We've got teachers that are working their tails off trying to get online stuff up. And I'm sorry, I have a senior and there is no way in God's green earth that I can figure out what she's studying right now. I mean, I've tried, but um, she's got econ and English. Uh, the English I could do pretty well with, but the econ, I will be honest with you. Um, that was a long time ago, guys. If she had math, I could probably do that, but I don't know what the common core math, I don't know if I can. Oops. And that's why you have a mat, because occasionally you miss, right? All right, so enough of that. So after you're done with this, you go have another glass of wine, and then let me squeeze this and get this clean so I can cap it and be done. All right. So after this, you leave this to set, and in the morning you do what you want with it. So that will be on the blog tomorrow. Let me get all this mess ink. Oh, how you clean these. Okay, if you're doing wax paper, wad it up, throw it away. If you're doing your blocks, throw them in the bottom of the kitchen sink. Make sure it doesn't splash too much. Wash them at an angle, just rinse it off. Cool water, done, easy. Okay, except I've got stuff everywhere. All right, let's see if I have a piece of paper. I do, I do to blot a little bit of this up. Okay, that didn't work all so well, so guess what, we're just gonna flip. So our grid, pad, grid paper pads are great. They come in a stack about that thick um, one side is centimeters and the other side is inches and I know you're gonna say but we're only inches but guess what if you start following somebody in the UK guess what you're gonna have 
you are going to have centimeters so you don't have to convert. Isn't that awesome? So when they say, hey, do this, and it's at eight centimeters, you'll be able to do that. Awesome idea, right? Okay. All right. So I'm going to get to stamping before I put stuff in water. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts, huh? All right. So if anybody is opening, hey, Cheryl, how are you, hun? You're still here, hun. That's what's important. All right. So we're going to pop the notch on our pad, push it over. And I have thanks for all you do. I'm doing a lot of those right now because I have the feeling I'm going to need a lot of those. She has how many teachers? <laughs> uh, and band. Thankfully, Joel's here, but honestly, if he wasn't here, I would just be lost and be like, go practice. Um, and I would have no clue. But, okay. So, this is the... Why am I blanking on it? Classic label punch? Everyday label punch. I think it's classic. Anyways, it's in the annual catalog. Has been for a while. And we've punched it out. Alright, and then I'm going to grab my trimmer here. And I'm just going to cut. Notice it's a little wrinkly. It's okay. But I'm going to cut. And I'm just going to the edge of my paper trimmer. So I think that's an inch and a half. I'll look when I pick up. Yep, it is. So I am just cutting to make some strips. You'll see in just a second. If you want to keep them in order, you need to do that. That one's going to be used for something else. Not this time around. <laughs> Cheryl, I've missed me too. <laughs> I've missed all you guys. I didn't realize how comfortable we had gotten with what we had. And I'm telling you, it's been a rough couple weeks. <laughs> so we will see how things go. But... In the meantime, I've been working my tail off trying to get some new stuff done for you and all the technology behind it. And that's the part that's got me going. All right, so blueberry bushel down with some snail adhesive. Now I've got three background pieces, shall we say. So I'm going to start in the middle here. This is cut to be a quarter inch smaller or a, about an eighth on each side. So, kind of cool concept, right? Now you can cut it any which way. They don't have to be straight. You can cut them at an angle. You can do all kinds of things. It's up to your imagination. My goodness, you've never heard me say that before, right? So how's everybody doing with this? I mean, we're still getting mail. We still can go to the grocery store. So I'm, I'm doing okay. I've actually been through worse, if you can believe it. I was on lockdown overseas. Like, police come to your door and make sure you're there. Um, over 9-11. And there's my closed. <laughs> 7.30. Sorry, guys. I'll remember to turn my alarm off next week. Yeah, I'm getting back into the swing of things, too. It'll be okay. All right, so I'm just going to put this, let's see, down, middle, mm -hmm, I think down here. And where's Lisa? No Lisa? Hmm. We're going to have to do some bling, right? So I'm going to grab some pearls because that was what was on the top. Hey, I got another stack here too. So, so I'm going to grab some pearls and just sprinkle them around, shall we say. So you will not be able to put gems on if your card is still, the background is still damp. Just to let you know. So you want to make sure that it's good and dry before you start messing with it, okay? 
All right, so there's that, and then we're gonna put two little ones. Yes, my fingers work really well because I do this all day, right? So if your fingers don't work that well, grab a piercing tool, grab the take your pick tool, grab a scissors, grab a bone folder, whatever you need, okay? So that's our card for tonight. Thanks for joining me. We're gonna wait for the other one. Can I get it in the shot? Hold on, hold on. We're gonna wait for the other one to dry. And I will be doing some punch outs of that one so I gotta make sure it's good and dry and do a totally different card. So we'll see how that goes too. So thank you so much for joining me. Please share to some of your parents that are struggling with what to do with their kids. It's an easy way to, and a cheap way, to keep them entertained for at least three minutes. <laughs> Only have, you know, a thousand more to go, right? And here's the information again. Help Iris if you can. <laughs> That's a cool card. I like that. Somebody's going to get that probably next week. <laughs> so... With that, I don't think I have anything else this week. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great rest of the week. I am here for you with no contact, of course, because I'm a non-essential business, which just means that I cannot do deliveries or tempt you out of your house. So if you need anything, let me know. I'm happy to mail. I'm happy to do whatever we can do. And I'm pretty good at describing things over the phone. Um, you know, if we need to do a FaceTime or just let me know, we'll figure it out. So thanks so much for joining me. Have an awesome night and please share this video after it posts so we can get it to people that might need it. Thanks so much. Have a great night. Bye-bye.